Hi, this is Scott Arnaud with this week's security tip. Today we're going to talk about a lovely threat called rootkits. Rootkits stink. Just cutting to the chase. What a rootkit is is basically it's malware that will very quietly sneak around in your computer or network, kind of like an invisible intruder who can see and often control absolutely everything. It's really nasty stuff when it gets on. The name itself comes from what's referred to as root access and uh, an older operating system called Unix, which basically refers to system-wide control. So when a root kit gets in there, it can pretty much do anything it wants to your system and you won't even know it's there in most cases. In effect, it allows an attacker to hide other malware, create backdoors, steal data, you name it, they'll be able to do it. It can also be found almost anywhere. You can run into it with a drive-by download, which is when you're going by a website that as soon as you click on it just attacks your computer immediately, often without the knowledge of the host of the website. It's Malware people attack their site and you get hit when you come by. It can also be found in attachments to emails. It can be found in what's referred to as SEO poisoning. Well, that's a deliberately infected website. It might have something like a picture of a celebrity. You go click on the celebrity like, oh, hey, what's so-and-so doing? Meanwhile, that's actually an attack website which hits you as soon as you go in there. Now, what can you do to safeguard your system against rootkits? First and foremost, keep the software on your system as up-to-date as possible. Like most malware, rootkits tend to attack things that already are known about. Basically, the flaws in the system they're hitting, the manufacturers and software developers have found them and fixed them. But the thing is, you have to actually download the fix to keep the system safe. Once you've done that, the attack will bounce off, which is a good thing. Many systems can be set up to auto-update with given types of software. It can also be done with antivirus software. Strongly recommend it. And there are other things you can use as well, which will make sure to update third-party software in the background. That means if you're using a Mac, it's not the literal Mac Apple software. If you're using a Windows machine, it's not just the Windows software, it's the other stuff. And those programs include uh, Secunia, which is S-E-C-U-N-I-A. I'm a big fan of that. It's another one called File Hippo. It's all one word. And if you use a Mac, there's one called AppFresh, which does roughly the same thing. They basically will update your programs in the background, which makes life a little easier. Now, also what you can do in terms of your network to keep people off of rootkits, security awareness training is really helpful here. Teach people how to do a proper strong password to keep bad, bad people off the system, and also to think before they click or download on something that might look tempting, but is coming from someone they don't know, or is coming from a name they know, but looks really out of character. Now, once you've got a rootkit in the system, yes, they stink, but you have to get them off. How do you do so? Well, actually, there's specialized removal software out there, and it's actually pretty good. I'll give you a few. One is from uh, Bitdefender Labs, it's called Rootkit Remover. It's another one from Kaspersky Lab called TDSS Killer. There's one from Avast, which is ASWMBR. And finally, one from Sophos called Rootkit Removal. They're all pretty effective at what they do. And actually, I'll attach to this video a bunch of links to them so you can just go find them directly. Hopefully, this has been helpful. And if you have any other questions about rootkits or other areas of computer security, please feel free to stop by thesecurityadvocate.com. Thanks so much. Have an excellent week.